Do you want to know how to put a shock cord anchor into a small 13 millimeter diameter tube? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, my name is Tim Van Milligan. And we got a question recently from a customer that wanted to know the best way to put in a shock cord anchor inside of a small 13 millimeter diameter tube. Now these typical small rockets are used for competition um, and it can be tricky putting them in because it's so small. Now most people are familiar with the Estes shock cord anchor system, which is basically a piece of paper that's been folded in half um, and, and the shock cord glued into that and that gets glued into the tube but you can't get your finger in there because you know you've got big fingers like me it doesn't go inside of the tube so how do you get these in here well I've got a semi translucent tube here that I'll kind of use to show you a technique first let's cover the shock cord uh, the typical Estes shock cord that you're familiar with is made out of a piece of rubber. Um, it's a ribbon. Um, we don't want to use that for 13 millimeter tubes because it's just too thick. So we want to use a 100 pound Kevlar, something like this right here. Uh, Kevlar is flame resistant. It's a lot stronger than rubber. You don't have to check it nearly as often to make sure that the shock cord is still anchored into the tube. We're going to do the same technique with a piece of paper. Um, and I got a strip of paper here. Um, it's about a half inch wide. Um, and I want to fold it over twice. So I'm going to take it and fold it once and then fold it one more time. And that's going to be the length that I'm going to need. So I'll just cut that off. And this is the part that I'm going to use. And I'm going to take a shock cord. I got another one over here. And we're going to glue this onto that piece of paper and we're going to try to do it at a diagonal. So that's not straight, but at a diagonal on the paper like that. So ordinary wood glue will work fine for this. So I put some uh, glue on there. Then I'm going to spread it around. Try to take off probably 70% of that. I want it, I only want a thin film. Have some paper towels handy. All right, so I'm going to lay that on the table. And then I'm going to put that shot cord at a diagonal on there. And then refold it. And I always start from the end that's away from the long end. So just fold it over. Make sure that the shock cord stays into the paper. Try to keep it straight. And fold it over and then squeeze all the glue out that you can get out of the inside the paper. Okay. Now, what we also want to do is we want to wrap it around a dowel to so kind of give it a little bit of curvature. Uh, we don't want to glue it to the dowel. We just want to wrap it around so if it sticks you know, pry it back up. But we want to put it on there like that and it gives it a little bit of curvature. And that's going to help us when we stick it into the tube like this. Okay, so now you want to let this dry. Because it's soft yet, it's very flexible and it's going to be a little bit harder to handle. That's why we want to let it dry. Um, so that's why I got this one here. This one's already dry. It's nice and stiff. Um, and it has that same curvature to it. Um, now, imagine on this tube that the fins are down here and the nose cone is going to go up here. And I want to put it far enough down so that when the nose cone goes on, um, it, it doesn't um, interfere with that shock cord anchor. So we're going to take some glue. Same glue as before. And we're going to smear that on there. This time I'm going to, I want to leave most of that on because as we put it into the tube, 
it might touch the tube and it might lose a little bit of glue along the way. So I want to try to get it into the tube. And I'm just going to kind of gently feed it down. See, I'm trying to keep the glue off the inside of the tube. And I want to go down as far as I can. Uh, and then I'm going to flip it over and now I want it to settle down. So this is where you're going to take a dowel again. You're going to put the dowel in there. You can see the dowel is now past the uh, shot cord anchor. And I'm going to smoosh that down as tight as I can. You're not going to be able to see this on the inside because the tube, you know, is, is cardboard. But uh, that's why I wanted to use something that was semi-translucent. Um, so push it in there really hard and then pull your dowel out. And if there's any glue on the inside, what you can do is you can take paper towel, kind of roll it up, and then, and then just kind of try to clean out the inside of the tube the best that you can. Just clean out any, any wet glue that's in there. And you'll just have to look down inside. And the reason for this is we just want to uh, remove any bumps in the tube that could cause uh, the parachute or the streamer to hang up on this particular rocket here. Nope, not that one. This one. Um, I have a, a, a streamer that's been rolled up. Um, and I've got that shock cord anchor in there. And this one's dry. Um, and it's very strong. So that's a, it's a good anchor. Um, but now when I put my streamer in there, I don't want it to get behind that anchor because it could catch on it as it's coming out uh, when the ejection charge goes off. So in this case what I need to do is I need to wind up my shock cord first. And I'm going to take that ball and push it in there and use a dowel to try to push it past the shock cord anchor. And I got some smaller dowels here. The dowel that I used was um, I think it was 3 eighths or 5 16 so it's it's smaller than the inside of the tube. Um, typically the inside of the tube is a half of an inch. Okay, so I am definitely inside now. Um, then I want to take my streamer and I want to roll it as tight as I can. And then I'm going to slide that in. And then as soon as you let go, that streamer is going to try to unfurl itself inside the tube. So get it all the way in first, and maybe you'll hear it. You know, whoop. Yeah, that was the streamer unfurling. And then you can put your nose cone on. There's a nose cone on this rocket, but you can see it has a shoulder that goes in there like that. Uh, this rocket here is for an altimeter, which is why it's a little bit bigger. Um, and I knocked the fin off somewhere right there. I'm always breaking rockets doing these things. Okay, so now that's the typical way. Now the problem, as we said, is we, um, because we have that lump on that side of the tube, if a streamer got behind it, it could catch it and it might prevent it from coming out or, or if it's a parachute. So the other way you can do this, um, you, can, you can try to fold your streamer. That can help or it can make it worse. Uh, you gotta kind of play around with it. Another thing that I like to do is to mount the streamer or the shock cord anchor on the outside of the rocket. So here we got the same Kevlar shock cord and I've run it down the length of the tube and I've glued it into the root edge of the fin like this. Um, and then this piece of tape here is there for a special reason. Um, this is for a competition rocket. We want the rocket to hang horizontally. Um, it doesn't have a motor in it, so it's going to be kind of nose heavy, but if I had a motor in there, it would hang horizontally um, and, and act more like a streamer itself, you know, a larger surface area down here resisting the wind as it's coming down gives you a slower descent. Um, so that's one way to do it. And now there's another way that's, that's also similar, um, and that's this one here where I've got the shock cord anchored onto the tube, but it goes inside the tube and then out the front end. Um, this I like for um, altitude rockets because it's low drag. Um, if you can, you can put a fin fillet over the top of that and kind of, you know, mask that out, you know, streamline it so that's even more drag reducing. Um, to do that, 
to do this technique, what you do, you know, here's another rocket that I'll modify. You're going to take a hobby knife um, and you're going to drill a little bit of a hole right along the root edge, but a little bit forward of the fin. Now, a lot of times inside the tube, you'll have an engine block and you can't drill into that engine block. It's just too hard. So first you got to make sure, uh, find the engine block. So I'll take you know, the, the end of a, a dowel, just run it up in there, find that engine block, you know, and if, if it stopped there, I say, okay, I need to go in front of that a little bit, like about right there to drill my hole. Um, so I would drill the hole, just take your hobby knife point, just gently twist around like this to start creating a hole. You don't want to push too hard or you're going to create a slit. Um, you just want to do it gently, create the hole, like that, and you're going to take your shock cord, got another shock cord right here. Um, now we need to get that shock cord in there and then out the front. Um, you know, when you cut your Kevlar, you always get this, this frayed edge right there. So to take care of that, take some thin super glue and just put a drop on there and that super glue is wicking in along the fibers of the Kevlar and I can I can feel that it's, it's a lot stiffer now see it doesn't want to even flex so now you can take and your hobby knife and just cut it off and see now I got a nice flat point on there no fraying at all so now I can take that and push it into the tube and just push it in, push it in, push it in until it comes out the front end. Okay, like this. And now I'm going to take I'm going to glue the back end along the, the fin root like right here. Now I can do the same thing with this furred edge right here. Try to knock off any any big protrusions to reduce the drag on the rocket. So I'm, I'm laying it down there like that, and then I'm going to take my super glue again, put a drop. Um, I always use my hobby knife for this, and then just take that shock cord and kind of push it down hard in there. Uh, by using a, something that's metal like this, it doesn't really stick to the super glue, um, so you can really push in hard and not have to worry about sticking your finger to the rocket. Done that too. Um, so now it's mostly down. I'm going to give a little bit of a tug here. I just want to make sure it's nice and straight. So I got a little bit of a wiggle right there. And I'm going to put my more glue right here. Okay, and then I'm going to let that glue dry. Um, I can already tell it's it's solid, but it's still it's still wet. So you know you put your fillet in there, um, and that's how I would do it for a competition rocket for an altitude event. And this will also work for just most hobby rockets too. You know, so your sport rockets that you want to do with just small rockets. Um, so that's three different ways to attach a shock cord anchor to a 13 millimeter diameter tube. Um, if you have any questions or comments, go down at the bottom of the uh, YouTube video and click on, you know, um, comments. Um, be, also be sure to subscribe. We, we enjoy that when you subscribe to our videos. Um, and if you want to purchase some rockets, come to our website, www.apogeerockets.com. That's our website. Um, you can also subscribe there for our newsletter. So we produce not only videos that you're watching right now, but we also produce a how-to newsletter that goes out every other week. So if you're only watching the videos, you're only getting half of the good stuff that we have here available at Apogee Components. And when you subscribe to our newsletter, you'll also get a book of 25 rocket plans. Now, these are really cool plans. You not only get the fin templates, you also get the dimensions, the um, decals, and a three-dimensional 
drawing showing you know dimensions on the rocket so you can come out with some really great rockets and in our newsletter we also occasionally put out additional free plans so you want to get those too so again come to our website www.apogeerockets.com and thank you for watching this video